Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And on today's video, I'm going to show you how to apply some screen protectors to your shiny DJI Pocket versions 1 and 2. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we'll be showing you how to install screen protectors on your favorite pocket device, which is the DJI Pocket. This is suitable for the Pocket 1 and the Pocket 2. So if you've just invested in one of these and you want to look after both the LCD screen and also the actual camera as well, then this is a really good way of doing it. In the UK, it costs around right about nine pounds on Amazon, which I think is a great price. And for the sake of less than a tenner to protect your device in the events of maybe dropping it or even just get damaged in the case or just dropping it on a desk, whatever happens to it, it's certainly going to be a lot cheaper to buy some of these than what it is to uh, buy a new one of these. So let's take a look and see what we actually get in the pack. So this is the pack itself and these are under various names on Amazon. I will put down the Amazon Choice one, which uh, to be honest with you, looks exactly the same as this one. It's got 9H glass on there, so nice and strong, going to keep it protected, easy to apply and also, best of all, you actually get two lots in here. So for your money, you get a pretty decent package. So you get four lots of wipes so that's one to actually wet wipe and one to dry wipe so that is part of the preparation so effectively i guess you break that in half so this is for the first application and if for some reason if one gets cracked or whatever then you can use this one the next time round. next up we get the actual glass itself so there's uh, four pieces here as you can see so you've got two sets one for the actual lcd display and one for the camera lens itself so that is the one for the camera lens and also there is one for the LCD display. Pretty cute, that doesn't really uh, look fantastic, but hopefully it's gonna protect the device. So let's get on with the installation. So first thing to do is to get wipe number one, which is our wet wipe. Obviously, if you're taking this device out for the first time and it's uh, completely brand new, and you're just removing the shrink wrap off it, then this bit you can probably ignore. But I've had this one about a week now, so it has been used and it's got some fingerprints on it. So we're going to go ahead and clean it up. So with the wipe, just literally wipe over the actual screen itself. Just lightly and do the same for the camera. Just give it a wipe over. And that is pretty much all you need to do. Next up is the actual cleaning process. So we'll take wipe number two. And this is our dry wipe. So this is basically to remove any smudges or any residue which may be left on. On the actual lens for the uh, Pocket and Pocket 2, you will find there is a little bit of a lip around the outside edge. So just make sure you get right up into the corners and all the little tiny little crevices. And that looks pretty good. So now we can do the main screen. You may find it easier to actually remove the joystick if you've got yours attached. The choice is entirely up to you. So when you're pretty sure that everything's nice and clean, we're uh, pretty much ready to go. But what you can do is actually in the pack as well, there is included two sets of guides and also a dust absorber. So what you can do is to peel this off of the actual backing plate or backing strip and holding onto one tab, you can just go over and just make sure there are no bits of dust on either of the lenses. Being that we've just cleaned it, there shouldn't be, but it's uh, always beneficial to do so. So that's our device ready. So now we're ready to put on the protective screens. So we're gonna start first of all doing the LCD one. So we'll give you a close up for that so you can see exactly how it's done. So now we can take our glass, excuse the fingernails and remove the backing plate or backing strip. So remove this section, peel that off. Then that is the sticky side. And we can just gently put that onto the screen. Now there are slight indentations around the outside edge. Just a little bit of a press. And there's a little bit of an air bubble there, which I think we've uh, pretty much got out now. So let's turn the screen on. And yeah, looks absolutely uh, absolutely crispy. So there is a little bit of a smudge on there from where I've actually put it on. So what we can do is now grab our dusting cloth, just give that a little wipe over. And yeah, 
good as new. Well, there's a little bit of a smudge down the bottom there. And for those who are wondering, does it still work? Uh, yes, it does. So you can still do all your swiping and use it as you would normally. Swipe up, etc. So all that works as intended. So that is the uh, what I would consider the easy one done. So let's move on to the other side. So actually, there's a I just notice there's a little bit of a smudge there above the DJI logo. So let's get rid of that. And there we go. Look at that. That's uh, pretty much perfection, I believe. You can see there's a little mark, but I think that is where my uh, where my finger is on there. See if I can get the angle. So yeah, those bits you can see is just basically it was on the desk itself. So that's all done. So let's get round and now we'll do the actual lens itself. So for this bit, you just need to move the head out of the locked position to expose the head. And as you can see, it looks uh, it looks uh, pretty clean as it is. So let's see if I can get it in focus. There we go. Yeah, that is, there's a very small little bit on there. So give that a little blow. I think there's still a little tiny bit in there. So we'll get the cloth again, the dry wipe. So now what we can do is put that down a little bit. And get it steady, angle the lens up, and then we can get our next part of the lens. So now we're going to be using this part. So this is the camera section. So all we do is peel that off. This one's going to be a little bit more tricky. So again, we're going to use the uh, the outside edge of the camera as our kind of guide. Just pop that in place. And I think that's actually not too bad. That does appear to be quite difficult to see because it is very, very small, but certainly it doesn't stick out very much proud of the actual surround, so you should be fine with any adapters or any other lenses. There we go, it's not exactly on straight. You can see there's a very slight gap or slight mismatch there, but you can see there's a contact area in the middle where it's uh, sealed up with the unit it hasn't quite stuck on so not perfect but certainly it is covering the field of view of the actual lens itself uh, maybe if we give it a little bit more of a press yeah, you can just you can see where the contact area is around the main part hopefully that is uh, makes sense How you see it? yeah you can see in the middle there definitely made contact around that center area so not exactly perfect but certainly is going to protect that lens area possibly down to my cack handedness this one is quite tricky but this is probably the best solution that I could find on Amazon so yeah I think that pretty much wraps this one up okay so there we go there is our DJI pocket 2 protected as best as it can be the screen protector fantastic no qualms there I would have liked to have seen possibly the top bit be a little bit smaller, if anything, just to make it a little bit easier to line up. It does take a, uh, a certain degree of dexterity. It is a particularly small unit and it moves. So uh, for those of you that are maybe uh, struggling with your eyesight, that kind of thing, or maybe your dexterity, it might be worth getting someone else to put that on for you. Luckily, obviously, this is a twin pack. So if for some reason you do get it on there and it's completely wrong and you have to remove it in it, gets damaged in the removal process because it is obviously a very thin piece of glass then at least you've got a spare in there but i think for the sake of nine pounds effectively four pounds fifty a pop for protection for that screen and that screen i think it's a really really good alternative so let me know in the comments if you've got any better suggestions for protecting your dji pocket or pocket 2 be really interested to see them but in the meantime i've been mike this is mike's unboxing reviews and how to and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video thanks for watching